You may not have studied for some time, but now you've been asked to find articles and use databases. What are we talking about? These can be new and confusing terms. This short video will explain what academic articles and databases are and why they will be so useful to you in the future. You will know about magazines and popular journals. These are usually glossy and colourful. Some may look like they include and can include interesting and topical information. However, these are not usually useful for academic research. Why is that? Magazines and popular journals have short articles written in easily readable language. Often there is no author attributed to the article and where there is, like in this article, no detail about the qualifications or experience of the author. Information is not referenced. Where did this information come from and how do we know that it's a reliable fact? Usually no references at the end either. OK, so what about academic journals? They don't look quite as appealing, do they? Brilliant contents though, especially for students and researchers. Academic journals usually look the same for every edition and usually only include a few different articles in each edition. They're usually published four times a year. Each edition has a unique volume, issue number and date. Obviously important information for your reference to the article. Academic journals will usually only publish articles after they have been reviewed and accepted by a team of other experts in the field, known as the peer review process, used in most academic journals. The qualifications and experience of authors of articles are published, and information within academic articles is referenced within the text, as well as in a bibliography or reference list at the end of each article. So now that you're using academic journals, how do you find the journal articles you need? Well, you could look through the contents page of hundreds of journals. Actually, these days, libraries often don't have too many journals in paper copy on the shelves, so time to go online. Now we introduce databases. Databases are very well organised, large online indexes of academic articles from thousands of academic journals. Different databases usually concentrate on different subject areas, for example. There are databases just for medical information, science, education or business topics. Libraries spend lots of money making databases available in universities because they can be powerfully searched for academic information using keywords, authors, titles, subjects and much more. So, instead of searching the shelves for the journal using the contents page and finding the journal article, start with the library homepage of course. Search for any topic you're interested in, in journal articles. This is the easiest way to search. Scan through your favourite journal titles. Or check out the best databases if you're looking in your subject field only. Now the same academic journal article is available and easily searchable online. Download the PDF version of the journal article, always a PDF version. Feel confident with the difference between an academic journal and a magazine and how databases are so useful in finding your academic information online.